Hey guys, welcome back to Rolls to Gadget Tips and Tutorial. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we are going to create similar bouncing effect text like these. Before we move over to Cinema 4D, a quick message, sponsor of this video, Artgrid.hiho. Let me show you how to create an amazing ad using stock footage. Go to Artgrid.io. Look at all this great footage. Go to Artgrid today and start creating without limits. Without further ado, let's jump back to the tutorial. First off, hull. Go to MoGraph and select MoText. I type master. Okay. Now change the font. I use some random cartoon style font. Now change its depth to 50 and change its align to middle. Now select the caps, change it to fillet cap. and change its radius value to 5 cm and steps to 5. Change character spacing, that looks perfect. Let's rotate text and see, you bevel looks good. Now, go to MoGraph and select Effector, Plane. Select Full Off and change the shape to Box. And then, adjust its size that covers full text, I do. Now select Parameter. And then uncheck Position in. Now select Scale. Check uniform scale changes. Size hit minus 1. Ok guys. And rotation, put some random value, 20, 40, and 60. Now, go to keyframe. First select 10 frame and key. And then, go to furtive keyframe. And move to right side and key. Ok guys, it's simple. It is not as bouncing effect we expect. Select Mo Text and go to Mo Graph and then select Effector Delay. Go to Effector Mode and select Spring. Change its strength to 75%. See this? It is really a Nice, bouncing, text effect. This is good, right? Go to, create, load, material. Select, mercy mat material, and, open. Choose, any, material, you like, my choice. Yellow, apply on, mo text. Go to file, and merge. Select, cinema 4D, studio light. Select, floor and little bit down. Select Softbox, go to Coordinates and adjust its X and Y position. And then go to Overhead, Softbox, move a little bit left. Now choose a new camera. Select Object, change focal length to super wide 15mm and projection to parallel. And check the camera. It is properly positioned. Now render it and see in viewer properly. Meanwhile, two lights should not be visible in camera after render. So that we have to turn off visibility off lights. Now it looks perfect.
Now, go to Render Settings, select Effect, add Ambient Occlusion, and Global Illumination. And then, select Anti-Aliasing, click Geometry, to Best. Now, go to Output. Select Frame Range, choose All Frames. Change its value, 0 to 70 frames. And then go to Save. Format JPEG. Again, choose the output folder we have to save and close. Then render. And after render, we will get image sequence like this. Then open in File Explorer. Here is the interesting part. We are going to After Effects and render single MP4 video. Open After Effects. Make new composition. Select HDTV. 720p, frame rate 30. And then, OK. Now, import file, choose Cinema 4D image sequence. Select single image, and then check. Import JPEG sequence. Now drag the image sequence into the comp. And then press the space bar in the keyboard and see your playback. It's nice. We have to trim the comp. Press shortcut key, yen. And then right click trim the comp to work area. Go to effects preset, type level. Drag it to comp and adjust the level slider. To left and right. It's looking better now. Let's play and see. It is awesome. Now, choose file, export, select, add to Adobe Media and Coder Cube. It's automatically opens Adobe Media Encoder. Choose the destination folder and save it. And then click render. That's it friends, here is the final result. That's it for this tutorial, thanks again for watching Rollstick tutorial, and I hope to see you back soon.